to see <coughs> 2013. So I'm going to I'm, myself, I'm Professor Venkat Subbaya, working as a professor in the Department of Mechanical Engineering, Andhra University, Vishakapatnam, this is from Andhra Pradesh. So the title is, this is actually one of my students who <laughs> is a, doing MTech for his uh, thesis. He has carried out this work and uh, due to some domestic problem, he is unable to present today. So in his absence, I am presenting this paper. This is a prioritization of uh, engineering characteristics of a product using uh, HOQ, that is house of quality, ANP approach, ANP analytical network process. So if you simply <coughs> come into the HOQ is one of the basic, that means first phase of the QFD, which is a quality function deployment of the total quality management system. And this which translates the customer needs into design requirements, that uh, the design requirements I made it as a engineering uh, characteristics, the terminology I have made uh, different. And the, in the main work <coughs> in the present paper, the integration of the HOQ and the ANP methodology and also we have involved the AHP process also, HOQ, AHP and ANP methodologies and to get the prioritization of the engineering characteristics. The final uh, objective is to get the final, the engineering characteristics. So nowadays you can see the present uh, trend of this, whatever is customer demands. So we have to produce the goods like that because of the number of various uh, manufacturers are there. So for any product you see, so the televisions or the vehicles, the automobiles or whatever it may be, you will have the number of manufacturers are there. So people naturally prefer whatever their requirements are suited or available in the product. So it is nowadays the customer market we can say. Previously whatever say only one product is available, customer is forced to take out that. But nowadays we will have plenty of opportunities and the customer is deciding factor. So for that the QFD HOQ will be useful and also <coughs> the engineering characteristics should also match with the expectation of the customers what is required. So a customer oriented product design technique is necessary to do this task. So this is the house of quality. So QFD is a generally you know, you know that QFD is a customer focused uh, design technique. And the first phase, we have the four phases of the QFD. The first phase is nothing but the house of quality, where that is customer needs and engineer design characteristics actually, the engineering characteristics. That is the first part of the QFD. Actually, this from the output of the first phase will go to the input of the second phase, that is the parts planning. <coughs> and the input of uh, output of second will go to the process planning. And the uh, output of the process planning will go to the production planning, which is the final product output. So this all four is a total methodology, but in this paper only we have concentrated on the only first part only we have done, not the remaining part. If you continuously carried out the all the four process with four chapters, it will go to uh, roughly if you take the exact case studies with all the analysis, we may go for the PhD also. So this HOQ is a, already we discussed the first phase of the UFD approach and uh, we have the here the interfunctional planning and communication may be possible and it is like a just a normal house which has the base and walls and the roof. So here this is the, so the basic priorities of the engineering characteristics finally we get. The customer needs that is how we will consider it as was, uh, what's and the prioritization of the customer needs. So generally it should be there the other side of the wall like that, the house. But I have given the customer portion, I have made it here. And the technical portion is the roof, that is the correlation matrix of engineering characteristics. So that correlation matrix will also, the engineering characteristics we consider as a house and uh, what is customer needs. So the technical portion and the interrelationship matrix is nothing but customer needs versus the engineering characteristics, that means what and how. So what is the difficulties in uh, constructing the HOQ? If more customer requirements are there, say suppose 20, 30, like that if you have more number of customer requirements, it is very difficult to construct a HOQ because more uh, number of involvements actually time taking and price so, so much of the involved. So we want to make it as the, because the, in the traditional HOQ, they have not mentioned anything. So you have to follow only the methodology of HOQ by making number of, say suppose the customer requirements are say 20. So with that 20 as a 